Okay, we want to write down equations corresponding to the following. So I need to understand the words that they're using. So the ionization energy, which is typically just written IE, is defined as the minimum energy to remove an electron. remove the outermost electron um, but we're told we want the fourth ionization energy and so what that is going to mean is we want um, like in the case of Se we want to go from Se3 plus to Se4 plus plus an electron and um, the reasoning for this, the reason why it isn't just Se plus to Se2 plus plus E is that this would be our second ionization energy. Our first ionization energy would be going from the neutral state to the state. So this is our first, that's our second, and our third one would be going to this so this is our third, and this is going to be our fourth. A good way to just remember it is notice the four is leading to a four plus, second is leading to a two plus, the first is leading to a one plus, and the third is leading to a two plus. Um, additionally, We have the electron affinity, and that is defined as the energy released when an electron is added to the atom or molecule in gaseous phase. Okay, so for our first question, we asked for the fourth ionization energy of Se. So we know we will we'll want to get Se4 plus since it's the fourth plus an electron. And then we just balance out the charges on both sides. Here we have a total charge of three plus. So you expect a total charge of three plus on the other side too. Um, let's do D since it's also asking for ionization energy. We asked for the ionization energy of magnesium. And it's just magnesium and not told what number of the ionization energy. And so we're just going to assume it's the first. And so we know that that would like to produce Mg plus plus an electron. And it's coming from Mg. Double check that the charges are balanced on both sides. Sorry about that. And this is correct. And then lastly, let's do our electron affinity questions. And so we have S minus. And we're asking for the electron um, affinity, which is me, which means the energy released when an electron is added. So that means that we're going to add an electron. And that now is going to produce Se2 minus, sorry, 2 minus and S. And just note that here I knew that because this side has a total charge of 2 minus, so this S should have a total charge of 2 minus 2. And then we have C, which is Fe3 plus. It's electron affinity, so you add an electron. Yeah, so a total charge of 2 plus, total charge of 2 plus on both sides. And that's it for this question.